What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So today I was going through some old transcriptions and I came across Ben Van Gelder uh, soloing over All the Things You Are. It's still today one of my favorite solos of all time. It's a really refreshing approach to All the Things You Are. So I thought I'd put together a quick video just going over the first half of the solo, kind of like phrase by phrase to uh, see what's going on, uh, him play, and then I play. It's kind of how I learn. But anyway, hope you enjoy the video. Here it is. noticed the wrong note just now if we look in the measure the D minor 7 uh, the and of 1 is an A it sounds like it should be a C but either way make sure when we hit that middle D we're using it sounds like he's using a palm key for that <laughs> some ghosting in there as well uh, obviously throughout this line for me if we look at the measure with the b7 the and of four is kind of a ghosted note going into a a small scoop into the b and the e major seven <laughs> To me, it took me forever to transcribe this because it doesn't feel like it wants to be 16th notes. And I'm not honestly 100% sure it's 16th notes. It sounds like it. Leave me a comment below and let me know what you think. But either way, that's the framework of it. This is one of those licks I would probably take through all 12 keys. It's a very nice line, very nice line. Once again, a very excellent line, very excellent line up in altissimo at that. So I should show my fingerings I'm using for this very first G sharp. Me personally, I use one and three, one and three and side C. And then I use that front F uh, for the very next note. So. So back to that one and three, one and three and side C for G sharp. And then me personally, I use one and two in my left hand and one, two and three in my right hand for the high A. And for that whole line where the G sharp seven altered is, I used a front F for that. So this, uh, it works for me. Uh, you have to do what works for you. Hopefully it helps, but. Yeah, and I use the exact same fingerings coming from the A, the high A, G, and the F going into the D minor 7. Oh, I guess I should show you my G. For G, I use uh, fork F, uh, register key, first finger, and side B flat. And I like how he repeats himself in that next measure. Uh, very nice, very nice. And let's get to this last line. Yeah, 
<laughs> yeah, so this part right here, I remember when I transcribed it, gave me the most trouble. Uh, so <laughs> jazz police don't come after me. It's probably a little bit wrong. Uh, but at least the F major seven should be close. Rhythmically, it's kind of like a nebulous. So uh, take it with a slight grain of salt. another awesome line it took me a second to transcribe down uh, but it just flows very nicely to me it's my favorite line of the uh, entire uh, tune especially this very last line of coming into the altissimo right before the two five to the top <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Out.